So there's not much to say here about Asuka because obviously we play the character so I hope you know what she does but I'll go over some stuff anyway. So the main thing is um, her back 3 at most ranges we can forward to on it. Point blank you can forward to, like mid range you can forward to. But just she can space out a little bit so just be careful. Like at, it can whiff at ranges so it's not 100%. So um, just really watch where you block it when you try to punish when you try to block punish with four two. So that's the main thing I would say. And just in general, sidestep right is really strong against Oscar. So let's see what we can do up close against. So we've got down front one recording, got down back three recording, we got um, back four recording. The sidestep right into quick block is really good against her. We got. Uh, for example, like common stuff that Asuka sees up close, so, so like side set right into quick block would be uh, pretty much a lot of her options. So a very quick block, so you can block them for one as well. And you'll make a Mac 3 whiff. You'll block back four. You'll block you'll you'll make Jazz whiff. And if she does the low, for example, um, I think this will whiff. I mean, this will hit you. I believe it will. Yeah. I think maybe you can react to the whiff. So as you can see, going right against her is pretty strong. And then of course Stamper 2 will quick block this as well. Side set right into quick block against them. So side set right quick block is very good against her. Now what what can we do about the against the other Oscar? So it's, what I like to do is back four is key in this matchup in my opinion because it beats reversal, it beats side set two from unhit. Like if you hit them with something, then do back four. It should stop side set two. Because it has tracking in both directions. Uh, it will flow can cans. So let's say we do back four into back four, for example. So e back four. This is me trying to do can cans, and she can combo off this. She do one plus four and so on. Yeah. And the size up two. I can't do size up two. I don't even have time to get a ledge. But it'll stop size up two as well. Uh, back three. It'll stop obviously. Uh, it'll stop reversals. You you don't need to worry about chickening. Uh, yeah. So back four is a really strong button in this uh, matchup. Uh, another, yeah, so um, side set right against job strings up close. So side set right, so e even if you eat it, you can you can uh, still side step to the right. Still stuck here. You can still you can side set right to job string. So it's not real, you know. Don't don't let her go too high with pressure when she's um she's a uh, going have money up close. You can side set right a lot of her stuff. You want to watch out for that. Stuff like um, FC down for two into FC, FC down for two. You can actually backdash the second hit at most ranges. So backdash that a little bit. You can actually make a whiff at most ranges and uh, don't let her, you know, use this too much on you. It's the same for FC down for two to 194. You can backdash this as well. Backdash that as well. Uh, see, uh, do it. What she should do is FC down for 2 into FC down for 4. This is why I do a lot, because he can't backdash in time, even at range. He can't backdash in time, even at range, even a single backdash to get away. You just have to make a read on where she's going to do that. She is minus 2 in crouching, so you can start making her use this. Uh, let me just show you what actually stops so I set right into quick duck. I didn't show this. So down back 4 it will, obviously. But down back 4 will stop it. Uh, and then obviously turn out down four will we'll do that as well. Other than, other than those two, like those two are the main tools to stop them, stop you from side stepping right. Other than that, like focus on going right against her. And there's little stuff like um, down two on hit into down two. Don't challenge this because if you try to challenge, she can get a combo. If, if it trades with ten frame, I believe. It doesn't trade at all. Actually. So she she can train trap you with. So just watch out first. At range, you want to go right against her for stuff like um, for three, for stuff like the back three, for stuff like then two. 
so. Oh, 043 has a little bit of tracking to the right, but if you go, if you sidewalk to the right, it won't hit. Well, that whiffed anyway, but. Yeah, actually, it's really good tracking that for me. But it is possible to um, sidewalk it. Yeah, see, it is possible to sidewalk it. If you have, uh, if you do it preemptively. Well, uh, see, uh, um, and two was this. So you go right against them at, them at 3 at range. And you go right at then 2 at range. Just watch out for 443. Watch, just watch out for 443 at range. Because obviously this is really strong. So what you can do is you can do quick side set right into block at neutral as well. Like this for example. Um, yeah, well, this is a common Oscar setup. So while standing 4 and hit into down 2. This, this is the one that trades with 10 frame I think. This is the one that trades with 10 frame. Yeah, so uh, she can combo off that obviously, so just watch out. Yeah, side step right up close, quick block, side step right, quick block up close, and side step right at range is a pretty good idea against Asuka. Yeah. So if Asuka is on player 2 side, you actually can't step them back 3 because you're forced in crouch. But you obviously can't go down. This, this, I, well, you can, there's some, some weird crouch cancel cheat thing that you can get out, but normally you, can, you can't. So, uh, so you can't step it to her weak side. So you're forced to challenge this, you have to make a whiff, or um, challenge her. But obviously she can mess you up for doing this. So it's, a, it's pretty hard to backdash, if she does up close it's pretty hard to backdash as well. Because of the range. So if she's on player 2 side... Just don't be on player. Just don't be on player one side because she gets a really strong uh, low game on player two sides because he can't step follow up them by three loops. So, uh, so she has a string here one two four. At most ranges you can uh, do two three on it, but if you're not sure, you can do dump four always. This this will always work. See two three can whiff, but dump four is pretty consistent and even and it's safe as well even if. Even if you mess up. Uh, this is pretty important in my opinion. So jab into reversal. Not a lot of people know about this. But you can actually do a key charge. Board and key charge to cover every limb at once. See, this is, that's, I just did a key charge button there. See, I did one for punch as well. Hold on. Let's look again. No. Key charge. Do it with the key charge and push. And you'll cover every limb at once. So that's... Pretty important to know. Instead of just doing it for, you know, like forward, one plus three or whatever it is for left limbs, you can just key charge and cover everything at once. Uh, there's stuff like this. You have to low carry this. So you can, you can with time you can re react to it. With time you can react to it. Uh, she has a, a, if if you're forced to eat it, she has a a mid low. Uh, she's a low option. And uh, she has a mid option. The mid option is a little bit quicker than the, the low, so you can actually kind of fuzzy guard it. If you mess up the low parry, you can fuzzy guard it a bit at least. So the mid is quite a bit slower than the low. No, the, the low is quite slower than the mid, so you can uh, stand up and then low block. And of course, uh, this is like basic Asuka 101. So. So we stick chap under this. To get around it. So stick chap to just to escape that mix up or, or else she can do this, you know, which is a low ender, or she can do this into the mid ender. So it's not a mix up, so just watch out for that. And uh, if she does like fake or three setups, like for example of um Like for example, like this or whatever. You should be able to just reversal her. And I think you have to quick stand with it. Or no, you don't. You can't quick stand. Yeah, so you can hold back to make a whiff and.
But I'm I'm more referring to stuff like um like if she gets you at the wall or something like I'm not sure if this is a real setup actually. Let's let's Like I don't think this is real, but I'm Larry Lapinus right now. So let's see. So you can reversal that, and even if she if she chickens it, at least you're not eating the unblockable damage. You're not eating the mix up. So obviously she can cancel the unblockable. So like I mean like fake setups like these, where the unblockable isn't like really meaty, as in it'll hit you before you can do your reversal. You can uh, reversal it because reversal comes out in three frame. But um, obviously she can. Uh, I'll show you what she. You can uh, cancel the unblockable and then punish you for doing it, so just watch out. But it makes her do more guessing anyway, at least. It makes her do more guesswork. And of course, just one small thing. While standing three unblocks, a lot of pushback. Yeah, wait more. There's a lot of pushback, of course. But, um. Offer, down for two with. But you can do offer two always. You can always do offer two. No matter the range. So I can't ask her, you just want to stay patient. Just let her do her little lows on you. Like her lows are not too scary, so, so just let her do them on you. And uh, just be really patient. Make her whiff. She's going to whiff side step 2 eventually. Or she's going to whiff back 3 eventually. Or she's going to whiff a reversal eventually. So just play really patient. Only attack when you know. Uh, when you know your options, like only attack when you know your options to like stop her stuff, like her panic stuff. And you just have to make good reads on the character. So, um, like for, for example, offer three, offer, like new controller, it needs breaking deep end. Offer three into size up two, you can actually, there's actually not much you can do about this because if you try to size step, you're gonna eat it. So uh, if you try to backdash, you can't escape the size up to, so you're forced to block the size up to. So you just kind of have to make a read and uh, do a homing or something. But it's risky because she can counter hit you, Elephish. So you just have to read what way she's going to go and then track that direction. But obviously she can go, for example, the other direction. This is what's cheap about it. She can choose the direction. For example, that works in one direction, but it didn't work in this direction. So you just have to make a read on this situation, like size up 2. Size up 2 is really good. So you, you, all you can say is you just have to make a read on it. And that's it for anti Asuka anyway. I hope that helps. I hope that helps people fight Asuka a little bit more. And please don't beat me in tournaments now. Bye bye.